This is a whale graveyard. There is whale bones, whale skeletons all throughout here in this outcrop. So today we're going to scuba dive and see how many bones we can recover. This was my first dive. I'd heard stories of this place and the treasures that people had found here, but I'd never once seen it for myself. However, first impressions were really good and I started finding large whale bones as soon as I hit the water. This bone I found interesting because it was actually sticking directly out of the clay layer it was coming out of. Now this clay is ancient oceanic sediment and these bones were still sticking out of the sediment they were fossilized in 10 million plus years ago. It's just a rib bone, they were everywhere, but I decided to try to get it out just for gits and shiggles to see how it go. I did end up getting it out, but I decided to leave it where it laid because one, I had way too many bones on me, and two, I thought it looked kind of cool where it was. The wildlife in this area was absolutely teeming, and I saw a bunch of large and smallmouth bass. As well as whatever this thing was, he was chill though. This section I found super interesting because as I worked my way around, I found a ton of really intact dolphin ribs. I'm not too versed on large marine mammals, especially dolphins, but I'm pretty sure this was some sort of large extinct species because these are definitely bigger than the ones I get from Florida. For comparison, this is a fragment of whale rib. You can see just how big the whale ribs are compared to these dolphin ribs I keep finding. Now, I haven't said much about it, but you can see in the background there are millions of these giant Jeffersonia scallop shells. Now, these things are on 10 to 20 million years old, and they were everywhere. In fact, I had to put my gloves on because I kept cutting my hands on these shells. They are razor sharp. And the fact that these shells are 10 plus million years old is just mind-blowing to me because you pick them up and they look just like modern shells. In fact, they look and feel just like any shell you'd pick up from the beach. This site really did make me feel like a kid in a candy store. Everywhere I looked, there was something cool to pick up, either a shell or a bone or a shark tooth, but we'll get more on that later. Underneath a large log, I ended up finding a big old whale backbone just sticking out of the clay, and I tried to get it out, but unfortunately it would not move. Check out this giant fragment of whale rib. This thing is like a katana. I wanted to take this home with me and make something out of it, but I didn't. This big old rock thing is the joint that would have gone to a whale's fin. This thing is cool. Before I resurfaced, I tried to get that whale vertebrae out one more time, but I just couldn't do it. However, it wasn't a total bust because we got over 200 pounds of whale bones on that first dive. We decided to take a break to eat some lunch, but little did we know the incredible find we were about to discover just around the corner. I just found an entire whale, like the bones and everything, spine all intact. Oh my god. Yep, this was it. An entire whale skeleton. I had found a full whale skeleton at the bottom of a river. At least from what it looked like, this was a complete whale skeleton. And for the most part, a complete whale skeleton is not the easiest thing to take out of the ground. I knew that, my friends knew that, and we knew this project would take hours, if not days, to get this entire whale out of the ground. But that's what we were here for. We were here to preserve history, and backing down from this was not an option. We were going to get this entire whale skeleton out if it killed us. The first step to excavating the skeleton was to take a look at it, see how many bones that we could see, how big it was, where it was going, where it came from, and this thing was big. This thing was absolutely massive and we counted over 9 vertebrae weighing around 30 pounds each. Luckily my friend Hunter loaned me some of his rock chiseling equipment and I got straight to work trying to pry the first vertebrae from its tomb. Every stroke of the chisel produced silt, and all the silt blinded me, so I was really worried about damaging the whale or any parts of the bones that I could see. But minute by minute, hour after hour, I was making really slow but very certain progress. While I was working on this, I actually found a little shark tooth in between two of the vertebrae of the whale, and I assumed that this maybe had been dropped by a shark that was feeding on this whale 10 plus million years ago. And here's one last good look at the whale complete before I start to take this thing apart piece by piece, because this is the last time you're going to see it in its full entirety for the rest of the video. After I found that shark tooth, I got a little sidetracked trying to find more shark teeth around the whale, but eventually I got my bearings and got back to work working on the main whale itself.
My method for excavating this whale was actually extremely complex. It involved fanning away the silt, examining the whale, taking chips of the mud, re-examining the whale, fanning the silt again, and back and forth until I got the first vertebrae out after over an hour of work. We had a solid underwater celebration for this first vertebrae coming out, but we knew we had way more work to go. <laughs> we're going to reverse. We did it. We got like 12 more to go, but we got one. Look at that. Oh, there's so much behind me. Oh my god. Wow. That was going to be way harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. Here's the first bone. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Here's the uh, front. Oh my gosh, and this is the back. This thing weighs like 20 pounds. This thing is enormously heavy. So this is the back. This is the part that's attached to the next vert. So we have to use some chalk and we're going to mark it so we can put it back together. With the first bone secured, the next step would obviously be to get back down in the water and continue digging. So that's exactly what I did. If you haven't noticed already, these bones are actually coming out of the clay in an arch formation, meaning that each vertebra is deeper in the clay than the last. So getting these out is just gonna get harder and harder as we move down. But it's not gonna slow us down too much because after 20 minutes of digging, we got the second vertebrae out in really, really good time. Oh my God. <laughs> it's another bone. Look at this thing, it's the size of me. Oh my God. Let's go get some more. And followed shortly after that second one was the third one in another 20 minute span. So now we have three vertebrae down. Okay, another one. Wow. Oh my God. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got three so far and we have them marked. One, one B, two, two B, three, three B. So we can keep them lined up and keep them articulated for when we transfer them. But these things are so cool. Look how big they are. Oh my gosh. They're heavy. They don't look very heavy, but these weigh like 20 pounds each. Oh. Now a huge shout out to my friends who held the camera and held their breath while recording me excavating this vertebrae. They are real ones because I know that was not easy. Thank you guys so much, Hunter and Dylan. Now, I only had three hours of oxygen to do this entire operation, so it was a sight for sore eyes to finally get the fourth vertebrae out after hour two. Uh, the fourth, fourth one, I think. We're halfway done. We got, I think, four more or five more to go, and then we've got the entire thing out. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all the shells that you got fossilized with that died when it died from the same period. That is so, so beyond cool. <sighs> Each battery on my Nemo dive system from Blue lasts about an hour, so I have one hour left to get the rest of the five vertebrae out. You can see I actually did an oopsie here and broke off one of the wings to the vertebrae, but I did put it aside and got it out when I was done. Another vert, we got three more to go or two more, I've lost track at this point. Awesome. At this point, it was a race against time. I had 20 minutes of oxygen remaining and three vertebrae left to remove. It took me 10 minutes to remove one of the vertebrae, and at this point, I didn't think I was going to make it. I had 10 minutes of oxygen remaining and two more verts to get. After getting one more bone out, it was just me and the final vertebrae remaining. And I tried everything to get this thing out, including standing in the ground and just trying to hoist it out. Nothing was working. But unfortunately, we just weren't able to... Just kidding, we got it out, and I had two minutes of oxygen remaining. Oh my gosh. So we're done. And look at all of them. This is nine vertebrae. Oh my gosh, you can see how they get bigger, then smaller, and then bigger again. We think there's more bones. We were pulling out a few excess bones while we were down there. These are different ribs from the same whale. So we're thinking we have a skull down there too. So we're going to go check that out. But this is so beyond cool. Look at all of these ribs. I mean, backbones. Yeah, that's it. There were a few other random bones from the whale. This is from the same whale. It was in the same deposit. These are other like rib pieces, I believe. Here's more ribs. So this is from this, this whale's ribs. Here's a few uh, wing pieces that we're gonna have to use paleo glue on, get glue back on. But look at them all. We have them all labeled and numbered so we can put them back together, get them all cleaned up. And we are gonna make a cool display out of these. These are freaking awesome. 
While we were diving, we also found a bunch of really cool shark teeth. These aren't really what we were looking for, but it was cool to find them while we were digging the whale out. Here's a few small megalodon teeth, a cool extinct white shark, which is the ancestor to this guy, which is the great white shark, and a few little great white shark teeth, but nothing too like crazy on the teeth end. The bow and tail ever, that is where this is at today. So today has been crazy. It's obviously raining, so <laughs> we're just about <laughs> done for the day, but we got some pretty cool stuff, I'm not going to lie. Uh, big teeth and some whale bones. Some giant whale bones. Three. <laughs> and the rest right here. So these are incredible. We're going to get these washed up and get them all cleaned up for display. But we're glad we could save them some history today. Because it's just been, it's been a good day guys. Yeah. It's been a good day.